Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Commission's regular meeting. I'll call the August 30th, 2022 meeting of the City of San Diego's Commission on Police Practices to order. This is the open session meeting prior to a closed session where we will be reviewing cases of complaints against SDPD officers and imposed discipline of officers that have sustained findings. Um, next up is roll call. So I'll turn it over to Interim Executive Director Charmaine Mosley. Chair okay, Holton. I'm here. Vice Vice Chair Case. Here. Commissioner Dent. She's here. Commissioner Dent. I see that she's here, but she's muted. I'll come back to her. Commissioner Harrington is excused. Commissioner Smith? Here. Thank you. Commissioner Clark? I know she's, she said she was coming or, or attending, so. So she's gonna be late. Yeah. Commissioner Shane? Here. Thank you. Commissioner Bond? Present. Commissioner Dabba Griffin? She sent, well. she sent me a text that she'll be, um, She's trying to log on from her phone, but she said she'll be home in five minutes. Okay, so she's late. And then Commissioner Spruce? Here. Commissioner Pink? Excuse, who am I missing? That completes roll call, we have a quorum. All right, thank you. Um, Next up is the purpose of the Commission on Police Practices. The purpose of the Commission on Police Practices is to provide an independent investigation of officer-involved shootings and custody deaths, and an unbiased evaluation of all complaints against SDPD personnel. Oops, hang on a second. It's the curse of having multiple windows, and once we go, it pulls it away from me. Um, forgot where it was. Uh, an unbiased evaluation of all complaints against the Police Department as personnel in a process that will be transparent and accountable to the community. The commission will also evaluate and review SDPD policies, practices, training, and protocols, and represent the community in making recommendations for changes. The mission of the commission is to hold the law enforcement accountable to the community and to increase community trust of law enforcement, excuse me, resulting in increased safety for both the community and law enforcement. And next up, we have public comment, which I'm not sure if we received any. No public comment received. And we don't have any attendees here with, uh, there's actually zero attendees, so no one's holding their hand up, but I'll give a moment for any commissioners if they would like to make public comment to go ahead, raise your hand. I'm not seeing any. Uh, we have the first session of uh, our open meeting is up until 510. So we have about three minutes. Uh, and then after that, we will go into our closed session. But Dwayne, if you want, you can uh, read us into closed session, go ahead. Okay, okay, thank you, Honorable Chair. There would be a recommended closed session pursuant to government code section 54957 to discuss personnel matters, including employee discipline or complaints are protected from disclosure and public discussion under penal code sections 832.5 through 832.8 and evidence code section 1040. There'd be a recommendation to go into closed session to discuss those matters. Thank you. Oh, I just realized for the roll call, I don't know if we asked who at IA was with us today. I see Captain Dupree is here, but I'm not sure if any of the lieutenants are with him. Yes, I have both lieutenants, uh, Seth Sainis, Mott Lapp, and myself. Okay, thank you. And with that, we have two minutes left of this open session before we move over to closed session. Just to let you know, Maxine uh, just texted me. She'll be here in a few minutes. She's on her way home. Okay, thanks. Thank you.
Oops, Charmaine, I don't know if you saw, but Chris Pink just joined the meeting as well. Noted, thank you. Chris is here. I was uh, trying to hop on uh, with the link on the Outlook calendar, but it, it didn't work. So I had to go to the uh, email message. Thank you. And with that, it is now 510. So we will adjourn our open session and go into closed session. So we'll see you all in a few minutes. All right, welcome back everyone to the commencement of our open session meeting for August 30th at 7.15. So I'll go ahead and call our open session meeting to order. Uh, what we are going to do here is we're going to report out on our closed session. So with that, I will turn that over to Dwayne first, and then I have a quick report as well. Okay, thank you, Honorable Chair. The board, uh, the commission met in closed session pursuant to government code section 54957 uh, to discuss police officer discipline uh, cases protected from disclosure pursuant to penal code sections 832.5 through 832.8. Uh, there's a, no reportable action as to the, the, the matters or the cases that went before the commission. However, there was an issue in closed session related to uh, certain information that the chair will report out at this point in time. Sure. So after uh, our session, we did have, I had a conversation with Executive Chief uh, McGrath, who stated that if someone files a complaint uh, and alleges something that does not violate an existing policy or procedure, that they will now add those to the internal affairs. Uh, investigations uh, and basically state that there is no violation of policy or procedure. So um, he did tell me that they instructed internal affairs to, to begin doing that moving forward. And I believe that is it. Is there, is there I don't see any attendees. Is there any non agenda public comment from any commissioners? All right, I don't see any hands up. Oops. There we go. <laughs> um, I don't see any hands up. So with that, we can go ahead and adjourn our open session meeting. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Love these short meetings, huh? <laughs>